I am a professional belly dancer. I perform and teach dance classes for a living. Obviously, I'm not performing, I'm not teaching my regular classes, but um, I have switched to everything online. wow this is uh, a new era I have to go into right now and I have to adapt and acclimate uh, but thankfully as a freelancer I'm, I'm very creative my hopes for the online classes is to still have a regular income while we're in quarantine because it looks like it's gonna be a while going from this is like which which are we going forward first well, first of all, it's not boxing, Myra. What? <laughs> I am getting feedback from my current students who, who are really, really thankful for that. And they're practicing along at home because they do miss it and they, they miss the community that we've created. Was that me? Was that him? Did a prince really kiss me? Mondays in the Club is a weekly party around a piano. I play the piano and a lot of other people get up and sing. Mondays have always been uh, a little weird and a little wacky. So figuring out how to do that together when we're not in the same room has been a challenge. New York, I love you, but you're bringing me down. I play piano. I just have to play a little bit ahead of the beat and the people, I have to read their lips more than listening to them. And they likewise just have to kind of just, just face forward and go and I'll follow them, I promise. So we, the first week did it that way. And then the second week we worked on Crowdcast. A lot of us here at the Mondays Collective have, you know, been trying to make it through. There's a button at the bottom uh, where people can donate if they like and that's helped provide the cost so far we've paid off uh, how much it costs to run it for the month. This is what your volume is like and this is what we want your volume to be like. There wasn't a means to applaud which is something that we are used to in the club and as performers and so people just started flooding the comments on the side with these little tears and cries and and the equivalence of applause. Little There was a comic who posted on Facebook two days ago. He said that he was quitting comedy. And I was like, dude, we were all fired. I'm currently in Oregon at my boyfriend's parents' house. And as we were hearing that the virus is getting more serious, um, there were the most cases in New York. We realized that we wouldn't be going back, wouldn't be doing shows. This is our bed. <laughs> And then this is where the wall begins. I was looking for a brick wallpaper and um, contact paper and all this stuff. And we bought um, marquee lights and went home and then, you know, put it all up, put it together and decided that my boyfriend's childhood high school bedroom was going to be turned into Remy's Comedy Club. I made a two hour laugh track um, I made a playlist of songs to bring people up to. I made an applause track and an ooh track. These viruses are coming in and they just think they can just hang out like it's some kind of situationship. The uh, first show in the club, officially in the club, was um, with comics all over the country, which I thought was really cool because usually in New York I can only book, you know, comics who are there. People are Venmoing. The performers and myself um after the first show i got paid by like 10 people which doesn't sound like a ton but when you add them up and when you consider how much you're getting paid for a normal stand-up set it, it actually like kind of evens out but sometimes i feel like i'm a little kid again um and like i go down and i'll be like you guys you guys come look at the club you know like come see what i did in my room and then they come up and they're like, oh my God, we love the club. The only reason I know what day it is is because of this show. I get Wednesdays and Saturdays and then everything else is just, I don't know when will this be over. 